Golden Beautiful, 5497, 1212 to 2008. You forbid me from seeing Steffi? That's right. This is wrong, Not Rick. for Steffi and me. For everybody else it is. Oh, so I'm supposed to do what everybody else wants me to do? I'm not supposed to follow my heart. That's what you've always done. This is about Rich, isn't it? And how upset he'll be when he finds out about me and Steffi. Rich will be more than upset. So as usual, his needs are coming before. How's the collection coming? It's ready in water right now. You know, you're surrounded with all this inspiration? Yeah, they have been that to me. Your father used to do this funny thing I always thought. When, when he'd get blocked, you know, or, or he just couldn't create something that he was pleased with, he'd just give up and come home and spend the rest of the day with you kids. <laughs> That's funny because I wound up doing the same thing with my kids. Now I'd give anything to have one day, even one hour with my two girls. I'm just wondering when it will ever get better. It will, honey, eventually. See, but that's part of the problem, though. I, uh, does Phoebe have to fade from my mind before things start feeling better? Because that's one thing I don't ever want to happen. No. I can only speak from my own experience. What happens is it just, it becomes a little less painful, the memory. And it kind of becomes, I don't know, a soft glow in your heart. I'm not there yet. I guess I hope I will be one day. You know what's strange is sometimes when I'm not thinking about her, the phone will ring and I just automatically think it could be her. And I... Those are the worst moments for me. Do you think I could have done more to protect her? No. Because I promised you I'll do better with Steffi. Nothing bad is ever going to come her way, because I won't let it. Thanks. I'm sorry you had to go through that. No. No, it was... It was necessary. You know, James is one of the most respected psychiatrists in the world. I hold his opinion so valuable. I would trust my life with him. Yeah. Yeah, he said things that I needed to hear. It's kind of hard to accept that. That someone you care about turns out not to be the person you thought they were. But you gotta be strong and, and just let him go. This relationship is impossible. You can't have a relationship with Rick. It's just difficult to accept, you know? So I'm right, aren't I? This is all about Rich. Of course it's about Rich. You know what he would do if he knew that you were involved with Steffi. Yeah, he'd be upset with you, Mom. Hell, he might even leave you. That's not the point. Yeah, it is the point. Because given the choice between Ridge's happiness and mine, you would obviously choose his. It's not that simple. It is that simple, Mom. I have told you that I am in love with a girl and that I might want to spend the rest of my life with her. It's always been a dream of mine. So you can choose to support me and my dream, or you can choose to support Ridge's obsessive hatred for me. He doesn't hate you. It's semantics, Mom. Come on. 
Call it what you want. But if you had any sensitivity at all, you wouldn't add this to his burden. What about my burden? I understand that he's grieving for the loss of his daughter, okay? I'm grieving too. Why can't he see that? Why can't anybody see that? You don't grieve for somebody by getting involved with her twin sister. So you're questioning my feelings, my motives. Of course I am. A month ago, you didn't even care about this person. Now suddenly you're madly in love with her? Of course I'm questioning your feelings and your motives. You did something like this to break me and Ridge up. You lied to the entire family. So I would be kind of naive to not think you were doing this now, right? Yes, you would, absolutely. Except for one thing. I have stood here and told you that I am in love with Steffi. Are you gonna stand there and look at me and tell me that I am lying to you? Yeah, that really is annoying when people say what they always say to, don't worry, everything gets better in time. But it will. It really will, sweetheart. I know, you keep saying that. <sighs> Falling in love or finding your soulmate, whatever it is they want to call it, that's a very powerful feeling. It can overtake your entire reality. It can cloud your judgment. It can make you feel so elated, you feel like nothing in the world could ever go wrong. It can make you rationalize to do things that you would never normally do. Steffi, you can see that Rick doesn't even care how this would ever affect your father. Your father needs you. He needs you. I know. I saw it firsthand yesterday. He's already lost his precious little girl. Please don't make him feel like he's lost the other one. Do you want to do that? Sometimes I probably do go a little overboard trying to protect Steffi. She has things that she has to work out on her own, though. What, like what she's going to do with the rest of her life? Well, that's a big one. There are other things as well. Well, I like to think there's nothing she and I can't talk about. Every parent would like to think that. It doesn't work out that way all the time. There are certain challenges that every daughter has to take care of herself. Well, I don't know of any. Do you? Yes. Something that she's actually going through right now. What is it? Maybe you are in love with Steffi. Or maybe you've just convinced yourself that you're in love with her. But either way, Rick, it just can't work. It can't work because you don't want it to work because it's going to complicate your marriage to Ridge. Yes, of course it's going to complicate my marriage to Ridge. We have struggled for years. We put up with manipulations and interferences from Stephanie, from Taylor, and even from you, from my own son. And still, Ridge and I have come out on top. And now you are asking me to turn my back on my husband? because of some girl that you fell in love with for only a few weeks, his daughter, for God's sakes. Quite frankly, I think it's really cruel and callous of you to even expect me to do that. Okay, fine, so you hate me. Get in line, join the club. Look, I don't know if you love her or if you're just doing this to destroy Rich, but whatever it is, you are going to stop seeing Steffi Forrester. Do you hear me? It has to stop. You're right. That's the last thing I want is to hurt Dad. Of course, I know you don't. <sighs> I 
I just wish I could help him suffer less. You did that yesterday. When you went to visit him, I'm, I'm sure that made him so happy. Well, he was glad to see me. But then he started talking about Rick. Now he will never forgive him for Phoebe's death. It just got me thinking. What about? If Dad is gonna get over this, he's gotta stop obsessing about Rick. Just thinking he's a bad guy. It's... Well, maybe he will over time. I wonder about that. No one loved Phoebe like Dad, no one. But no one knew her like I did. And honestly, I feel, I know, I know, I know she doesn't blame Rick. I think she blames herself. But in the midst of this tragedy, Something beautiful came out of it. And I know she's happy about that. What's Steffi going through that she can't discuss with me? If it's serious, maybe we should get her professional help. Her mother's already done that. She's seen a therapist? Taylor had James Warwick come by and talk to her. Who? Oh. I had no idea. She's lonely. And she's confused. I'm probably not helping her by laying all of my problems on her either. No, I think your talk with the other the other days, you know, that was I think it helped her to see things a little more clearly. I'm not just saying that. No, I mean it. You know, Brooke did a very thoughtful thing the other day. She uh, saw how down I was, so she had Steffi, come over and surprise me. It helped. I hate to say this. <laughs> but it seems to me that these days you're a little more at peace with yourself when you're with Brooke. Why don't you go home and spend some time with her? <laughs> that is a pretty amazing suggestion coming from you. Look, I... I just want you to get through this difficult time in your life as easily as possible. And if Brooke is going to help you with that, I'm all for it. She does kind of have a calming influence on me, I must admit. Then go home. OK. Thank you, Mother. I will. I'll even give her a hug for you. No, 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 no. Let's not get carried away with it. I hate it when we argue like this, but I have to say it. I feel like you're testing me. Testing you? No, that's ridiculous. Is it? Mom, this is not a test. Honey, I'm not even sure if you're aware of it, but the way that you've been acting lately. You've been acting? I'm not acting, Mom. I'm just, I'm living. Or at least I'm trying to, but you're making it very difficult on me because you're not accepting this. And what do you want me to accept, Rick? The way you've sabotaged your company? Do you want me to accept the way you still pretended you were paralyzed when you weren't to manipulate your father? Or maybe I should accept that speech that you edited, the really nice one that I said to Ridge over the internet. I mean, what really would you like me to accept? All of that? I I'm just curious, in your opinion. None of it. None of it. all going what's going to become of you I don't know what's going to become of me but whatever happens I know that Steffi and I are going to be together because I will not let Ridge dictate my life any longer
I'm a little confused now. Are you trying to tell me that you're holding out some kind of hope that one day you and Rick could continue the relationship? I just don't see how my relationship with Rick has anything to do with Dad healing from Phoebe. Rick caused Phoebe's death. No, he didn't. Not intentionally. <sighs> Mom, Dad needs to get over this, and the only way he can is to forgive Rick. How do you think it's going to be any easier for him to forgive Rick if he's involved with you? What's going on? Your granddaughter's having second thoughts. Really? Dad blames Rick for everything, and he's wrong. And I'm going to help him. I'm going to help him see it. Steffi, you cannot help him see it. That is not realistic. Steffi, I can't even begin to imagine how hard this is for you. You're smack in the middle between these two men, and you're being forced to choose. But why do I have to choose? Why do I have to put my life on hold? Why do I have to reject the man I love because Dad can't deal with it? Well, you don't have to. You can choose Rick and let's let Dad deal with it. I won't give him up. Steffi? Steffi, listen to me. Did you listen to anything that Dr. Warwick said No, to you? Dr. Warwick doesn't know nothing. This is my life. That's true. It is your life. And you're living it. But when you're an adult, you have to learn to live your life responsibly. And before you say anything, I understand what you and Rick have gone through these past few weeks. It's been wonderful and hot and romantic and passionate. But do not mistake that for real and enduring love, because it isn't. The two of you have suffered a terrible loss. And it's, it's brought you closer together. And that's understandable. But what I think is that you are very lonely. And I think you're filled with guilt because you're alive and your sister's not. You know what happens to people sometimes when a terrible tragedy enters their life? They grab a hold of life. They grab a hold of passion. And they bring it to themselves and they cling to it because they think that's the only way they're going to survive such a terrible loss. That's what you've done. That's what your father's going through. He's hanging on by a thread. And the terrible problem is you're the thread. I know it's a heavy burden to put on your very young shoulders, but that's just the reality. You want to be an adult, you want to be treated like an adult, and you have to act like one. Your father has never given you anything but unconditional love. And that's what he needs from you now, at this moment. Absolute, unconditional love. No problems, no source. You have to choose him. You have to choose him over Rick. Fine! 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 I'll break it off! Steffi. I'll break it off! Steffi, wait! No! Please don't no. leave! You got what you want. Rick and I are over. Oh, my God. She knows what she has to do. Mom, I was really counting on your support with this. Obviously, that's not the case. Rick, please don't do this. I'm not giving up on Steffi. Not for you, not for Ridge, nobody. What can you bring to her life, Rick? Ask yourself that. I can bring her me. I know that's not a lot, but it's enough for Steffi. No, you could bring her more. I know you don't want to admit this, but you'd bring her a great deal of pain. Oh, my God. Thanks, Mom. Thanks a lot. Nobody would accept this relationship. Nobody. Well, then that's their problem. No, this is your problem. Her family means a lot to her. And she would want them around. She would have nobody, Rick. She would only have you. And you may be selfish enough to think that that is enough, but it won't be for her. And if you're honest with herself, you would agree with me. I recognize the fact that Steffi may lose her relationship with her father. She may lose her relationship with her family. I may too, but I don't give a damn about that because we have every right in the world to be together. So you and Ridge and Taylor and the rest of the family can just go to hell. No. What the hell's going on here? You already took Phoebe away from me. And now you're taking Steffi? Well, that's not gonna happen, Rick. It's not gonna happen. 